Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome everyone to the second day of the 30th workshop in mathematics of the University of Brasilia. For the today's first plenary talk, we have a guest who needs no introduction. Of course, he is well known for his contributions on mathematics, but he is also known by his all-time good mood. It's my pleasure and honor to give you Professor Jean Mauan, Emeritus Professor at Université Catholique de Louvain. Professor Mauan, thank you so much for accepting our invitation to participate in the conference. Uh, that is a great honor to all of us at University of Brasilia. Today, he will talk about the course d'analyse infinitesimal de Charles de la Vallée Poussin and the Ghost Volume 2 of his third edition. Professor Jamawan, the word is yours. Thank you very much, Professor Matofu, for your kind introduction. Uh, I am very honored and happy uh, to give this uh, plenary talk in, in your workshop. And as the title indicates, uh, this lecture is a lecture about uh, historical topics. And uh, uh, as you will not see from the title, maybe this uh, lecture, the topics will have a relation with Brazil. So, I will talk about a, a book which will which have had many editions, an analysis book, and a book of course has an author, and the author is Charles Jean de la Vallée Poussin. Uh, uh, many people in the world think that de la Vallée Poussin is a French mathematician, but it's not the case. De La Vallée Poussin is a Belgian mathematician. He was born in, in Louvain in 1866 and died in Brussels in 1962. And if one accepts the four years of the, the First World War, we will speak about this later, he spent uh, all his life uh, in Belgium and uh, he spent all his career as a professor at the University uh, Catholique de Louvain, Catholic University of Louvain, where he has been a student, first in engineering and then in mathematical physics, which were uh, together in this time. Uh, as you can see, he became an assistant professor very young in 1891, uh, was promoted to associate two years later and then to full professor in 1897. And he became emeritus in 1951, which means that he has teached in the University of Louvain during uh, 60 years, which is quite quite an achievement. What made him really famous, and he was still quite young, was that in 1896, he proved the prime number conjecture, so which became the prime number theorem, and he proved it uh, independently uh, with Jacques Adama, French mathematician, and this prime number theorem just gives you an asymptotic estimate, which is n over log n, you know, uh, for the number of prime numbers, which are smaller than n. So, proving this 100-year conjecture, conjecture had been made by Gauss, as you know, uh, of course made him famous, but he then moved to different topics, and uh, during his career brought important contribution to integration that will be the topics we will be concerned with here. Fourier series, approximation theory, conformal maps, potential theory, 
and also smaller contribution to other things. Uh, he was recognized for those achievements. Uh, he was a fellow of the more important academies in this time, of course, the one in Belgium, but also in Paris, Madrid, Pontifica in Roma, the Lince in Roma, and the uh, National Academy of Science in the United States. He was made Dr. Honoris Causa of four university. And after the First World War, when the International Mathematical Union, IMU, was created, he was uh, its first president. And uh, to recognize those achievements, uh, the King of Belgium made him a baron in 1928. Okay. Uh, De La Vallée Poussin is not only famous for his uh, papers, but also for his book, his Cours d'Analyse, Infinitesimal. Uh, you can see uh, the cover of the volume one and two of the first edition. Uh, and this Cours d'Analyse had many editions, as we can see. And they were not only reprints, but most of them uh, contain important or smaller uh, modifications. Uh, what was this book uh, for? Well, uh, it was first the book for students in engineering and mathematical physics. Essentially, they are the course of advanced calculus, which is during the first two years of study, and de la Vallée Poussin teach it uh, between 1891 and 1935, which is already a long time. Uh, besides of this, but it's not related to the book, de la Vallée Poussin teach also rational mechanics during several, several, several years. And he teach then uh, higher analysis, which include its real and complex analysis and differential and integral equation. It was for the last two years in mathematics and physics. He teach it, you know, between 1892 and his retirement. And he also teach for a while some history of mathematics. So this book, Cours uh, d'analyse infinitesimal, was used as a text of lecture for the first two years of students in engineering, math, and physics, and as a, a partial support for the lecture of the last two years in mathematics and physics. Uh, in fact, uh, De La Vallée Poussin explains it already in the preface of the first volume of uh, first edition, we call it uh, I1. Uh, this book is devoted for the student uh, following the course of infinitesimal analysis at Louvain. It must be used together by the future engineers and by the student preparing the doctorate. This is the student in math and physics. To reach this double aim, we have adopted two types of prints, a text in large prints for the beginners and a text in small prints, which brings the previous one all the necessary complement for higher studies. In the large text, the questions are considered in their most elementary form without never sacrificing rigor. They are reconsidered in the small text and examined with all their development and under the most general viewpoint. And in fact, this comparison of the various methods puts them each other in light and is always very useful. The contents of the first volume, as you can see, is very standard for an advanced calculus uh, book. Uh, differentiation, Taylor formula, function of several variables, implicit function, indefinite integral, definite integral, a little bit of application to a, a differential geometry and uh, computations of integrals and infinite series. So 
when you see the contents, it's not very surprising. Uh, for the second volume, essentially, it contains multiple and improper integral, a little bit of uh, ordinary differential equations, the fundamental theorem, the uh, linear equation, a very short introduction to partial and total differential equation, a chapter of special topics which is more developed than usual on circular and Eulerian function and Fourier series. I think this is motivated by the interest of the Lavalle Poussin for analytic number theory. Uh, some introduction to calculus of variation and calculus of difference, and then the geometric application. So when you see the contents of the first volume, it is a, a fairly standard uh, course on advanced calculus. Uh, now, what makes it already different from other books is that more space is devoted than usual to real number. He uses the king cuts. The implicit function theorem is proved, which is not always the case, and it's proved by induction on dimension. The integral, the Riemann one, is, uh, follows Darboux definition. Uh, interestingly, the, the associated Jordan content is defined by introducing the characteristic function of a set, which may be the, the first time. Uh, the length of curve follows the theory of, of Jordan and the well-known Jordan curve theorem uh, for a closed uh, simple curve is uh, proved in a new way. We find already uh, a continuous function, an example of a continuous nowhere differentiable function. For beginners, double integrals are only uh, introduced and developed using successive simple integration as a definition. What is a little less standard is that improper integral, uh, it, there is a distinction between convergence and absolute convergence. Very a little surprising is that the Cauchy theorem for ODE is proved through a method which will be uh, rediscovered only in 1925 by Tonelli and now is attributed wrongly to him, uh, which consists in fact in considering a sequence of retarded differential equations for which uh, the existence uh, is obtained step by step, and uh, so going to the to the limit. As I told you, uh, more in phases is given to Eulerian, Eulerian function, and uh, you already found Cantor's uniqueness theorem in trigonometric series. Okay, as I told you, this book will have a long life and we can rapidly see that uh, volume one had 12 editions between 1903 and 1959, and volume two had uh, nine editions between uh, 1906 and 1907. Uh, a few remarks about those uh, editions. The last edition of volume one and volume two were written in collaboration of uh, Fernand Simonard, who was the follower of the Lavalle Poussin uh, to teach the, the course to the first two years of studies of engineering and mathematics and physics. And they are not considered as the best edition, uh, uh, the connoisseur, I would say, uh, would prefer to avoid those editions. Uh, Simonar introduced some modification, which were maybe not the, the most happy one. Uh, some editions have been reprinted. The uh, eighth edition of the first volume and the seventh edition of the second volume was reprinted by Dover. And the 
third edition of the first volume and the second of the second volume by Gabé in Paris. There were Russian translations of the same volume uh, that the ones rep uh, reprinted by Gabé. A German translation was planned and finally never happened because of World War I. And I heard from a grandson of the Lavalle Poussin that a Turkish translation even existed. But if you have looked carefully uh, the volume two, you have observed, and it is not my mistake, that uh, there was no third edition of the uh, second volume. So no third edition of the second volume. Why? And uh, uh, we will see why a little later. But before, let us go to this second volume, this second edition, and see what is new. And this is told in the preface by De La Vallée Poussin. He said it's considerably reworked, uh, although the content remains the same. And the structure of this new edition of volume one follows the first edition and continues to be printed in two types. We don't insist on the many modifications, but the main one is that the theory of definite integral has been completely renewed since our first edition by the beautiful writing of Mr. Lebeg. We have thought necessary to introduce it in this course, the fundamental result obtained in this way, but we have rather considerably modified the proof of the author in order to eliminate the notion of transfinite, which has not yet entered our teachings method. You know, Lebeg, first memoir on integration was 1902, so we are in 1909, and uh, De La Vallée Poussin introduced already and adapts to uh, the level of his students, he adapts the Lebeg integral. This is remarkable because there were uh, the only book known in this time was by Lebeg himself and was not really a textbook and was limited to function of one variable. Uh, for the second volume of the second edition, published in 1912, again, of course, he continues there for function of several variables for multiple integrals, he uh, introduced the approach of Lebeg. And this is still uh, more remarkable if you remember that the first memoir of Lebeck covering the uh, multiple integral in some details was published in 1910. So it's two years after he puts this in his uh, uh, textbook, following, as he said, the fundamental memoirs of the author and uh, uh, also an application he gives to the uh, expansions in series of polynomials and application also to trigonometric series. So the theory of trigonometric series is presented using the Lebeg integral. And for this, he had uh, to uh, suppress from this edition his famous chapter on Eulerian integrals. Okay. So, the mathematical feature of uh, this uh, second edition of the first volume is, of course, uh, set theory has to be, to be de developed in, in order to be able to uh, present uh, measure theory. Uh, De La Vallée Poussin uh, introduced the lower and upper Dini derivative because he will need it for his original approach of the primitivation of function. He introduced measure theory following Borel and Lebeg uh, in the classical way. He defined the integral of bounded measurable function following Lebeg's definition and uh, goes to the unbounded function by what is now a classical cutoff procedure. 
and his approach to primitive of discontinuous function is uh, original and based on, on Dini derivative. Now the length of, of a curve is defined as a, or is characterized as a Lebesgue integral. And he, you can find even some more exotic topics like the Arzela's quasi-uniform continuity that few people know uh, uh, today, but which is essentially a, a type of continuity which is necessary and sufficient in order than the limit of a, a sequence of continuous function is continuous. And uh, the, you can find also the uh, Lebesgue limit theorem for the sum of series of integrable functions. In the second volume, then the indefinite multiple integrals are defined um, like Lebesgue as a set functions. The, those set functions, of course, uh, one need to define their derivatives and there are different ways. They use Vitalis covering theorem, which is there. And then uh, uh, the lavalier poussin proves Lebesgue's theorem for a contably additive and almost and absolutely continuous set functions. The Lebesgue Fubini theorem, reduction theorem is stated and proved. And uh, uh, Landau integral that the Lavalier Putin thought to be original, but which is not, is the basis of his theory of approximation of a function by polynomials. He extended following tonally to several variables. And as I said, trigonometric and Fourier series follow Lebesgue setting. He introduced a new uh, convergence uh, criterion and the uh, Fajer method is included as well. And Parseval formula is proved maybe for the first time at this level and uh, different other uh, uh, properties of the uh, trigonometric series. And there is also some original result of the Lavalier Poussin on the integration of total differential equation. So it's really, as you can see, not only it's not an advanced calculus book only now, but if you take in account all those things, it's really a book of real analysis and probably one of the first one and surely the first one in French language. And then in 1914, it's already time for a third edition of the first volume. And there, De La Vallée Poussin introduced still other new things, not only in integration theory, but also in the theory of differ differentiation of several function of several variables. He say that we have adopt, abandoned the old definition of total differential and adapted the one of Stolz. Stolz was a student of Weierstrass. And uh, this is essentially what we call the, the, the Frechet differential today, but it was introduced in finite dimension by Stolz. And the Frechet contribution was for the case of function in Banach space. And then, uh, he says that the theorems follow more directly from the principle uh, differentiation of explicit and implicit, implicit functions become sharper. So that's uh, one novelty in 1914. And this is also very early. You will never see this type of differential in the famous classical analysis book of Gursa of Picard, of Jordan, and other ones. So this is really very early. And then for the integration, he has made some simplification, I say, and reworked the theory of the Lebesgue integral by making more explicit, as we shall see, the concept of a lower n. Uh, the, of major and minor function. And uh, 
Another important novelty is that uh, the problem of the change of variable is reworked. And as he said, seems to receive here its definite solution. And uh, here is also a section on the primitive of a, a generalized second order derivative, which is quite important for Fourier series. So his definition of a, a differential is the one which is uh, adopted, of course, uh, today. For Lebesgue integration, with respect to the second edition, there is much more emphasis on the theorem about limit under the integral sign, the dominated and monotone convergence theorem. And for the link between integral and primitive, uh, he made explicit in this third edition the concept of major and minor function for a, an integral integrable function. And this is this uh, concept which will be extended by Perron to give his famous definition of the uh, restricted Danjois integral, which is now called the Perron or Perron Danjois integral. Important also is that we find for function of one variable, the, the famous de la Vallée Poussin decomposition theorem, which express uh, for a function of bounded variation of one variable, the uh, in, uh, difference of FB minus FB in terms, of course, of the integral of its uh, derivative. But there is a further contribution which is related to the variation of F on the points where the uh, derivative uh, does not exist. Uh, this uh, first T edition has received a, a, pretty, a pretty warm reception from the mathematical community. Uh, for the first volume, as I say, uh, which looks more like a classical advanced calculus book, uh, Tanri, uh, who say maybe start his review by telling that maybe there are too many books published in these topics, but he said nobody will regret the publication of this new one. The effort made by the author to base exclusively the teaching of analysis on perfectly rigorous notion is very worthwhile. Uh, for the second edition, Dademar uh, says the first edition was excellent, the second one is a real jewel. Uh, an anonymous uh, uh, review compares it to the book of Jordan, so that's uh, good enough. And uh, Porter in United States for the same uh, second edition uh, mentioned the rare pedagogical talent of the author. And still uh, recently, Jean-Pierre Kahn wrote that to read the La Vallée Poussin today is together a good lecture of mathematics and a beautiful lecture of language, language and style. Characteristic, of course, of the La Vallée Poussin book is the elegance of the style. And if you read French, you will still uh, feel and enjoy uh, this, this elegance. Now, what about this ghost edition? So what did happen to the, the third edition of the second volume? Indeed, when the World War I started uh, in August uh, 1914, the third edition of volume two was in the printing house. The name of this printing house uh, is, is a test, you know, of your pronunciation of Dutch. Uh, uh, and uh, this uh, printing house was essentially attached to the library of uh, the University of Louvain. And on August 25, 1914, the German soldiers intentionally fired the uh, uh, library of Louvain. And so the printing house and the edition were destroyed uh, as well. 
Uh, you can read the story, in fact, in the mathematical literature, because uh, De La Vallée Poussin uh, left Belgium uh, uh, soon after the beginning of the war and, and visited uh, the first uh, United States and then France and then Swiss, and he only came back uh, after the war to his home. And uh, in he published his lectures at Harvard in the transaction of the AMS and uh, started the, 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 the text by telling that many of the obtained results were already printed in August 1914 and were supposed to appear at the end of this same year in the third edition of volume two of my code analyse. All that has been burned in Louvain with many other more precious things. This is true. And then in the preface of the fourth edition of the first volume, published after the war in 1922, he recalled that the third edition, burnt in Louvain before its completion, never came to light and contained a rather extended contribution to set theory and Lebeck integral. This is a uh, view of the library in Louvain, on the left uh, before the fire and uh, the right after the fire. And of course, you can imagine that there were many very, very old books and documents from the university which uh, were destroyed and somebody put uh, an advertisement on the ruins. Uh, Here stops the German culture. And, okay, you, you could tell me, well, there were uh, 12 editions of the first volume and uh, <clears throat> nine editions of the second volume. So why is just the absence of this uh, third edition of the second volume? Why is it said we can just have to go to the next one? Uh, no, we cannot, because in the... Uh, preface of the fourth edition of the first volume, uh, De La Vallée Poussin uh, says, to hasten the publication, I have suppressed the topics treated in small prints in the old edition, and in particular, the theories relative to Lebeg Integral, that I hope to reconsider in a third volume. This third volume never existed. And, and, and so, uh, from the fourth edition and to the last one, there was no more Lebeck integration in the Cours d'analyse. So in some sense, the Cours came back, or with some, of course, improvement to the spirit of, of volume one, so to the spirit of advanced calculus. Uh, De La Vallée Poussin says it's some economical reason uh, and hastened the publication and difficult time after the war uh, to justify this suppression. But really, uh, maybe the, the, the real reason was that uh, he had published during the war two monographs, one on the Integral de Lebeg, Fonction d'ensemble, Classe de Baird, so Lebeg Integral, Set Functions, their classes and one on the approximation of function of a va real variable, which uh, included uh, trigonometric and polynomial approximation. And they were based on the lecture he gave in Paris during the war. But those monographs, they are more research monographs, I would say, than textbooks. And so, if you take in account the uh, fact that there was no Lebeg integral after from the fourth edition, mathematically, of course, the best edition which are available is to combine the third edition of volume one to the second edition of volume two. And indeed, the Russian uh, were aware of that. This is the one they translated, and Cabet was probably well advised to and this is the one he, he reprinted. Okay. So it was really uh, sad to have this uh, 
edition, uh, this third edition only as a ghost edition. Those are the two Parisian monographs. And now, uh, some years ago, I was working uh, with Butzer and Vetro on the now complete four volume collected work of uh, De La Vallée Poussin. And uh, I had contacts with the family and a great grandson of Valet Poussin came and showed me a stack of galley proofs he was keeping, he has received in memory of his great grandfather. And he told me, uh, I still remember, well, there is probably nothing interesting in that, but if you want to have a look at them and, and copy what you want, uh, you are welcome, but of course he wanted to have them back. So I went through those galley proofs, and indeed a number of them were without interest because they correspond to published things and well-known things. But then I realized that some of those galley proofs, uh, some of those galley proofs were just galley proof of part of the ghost volume. And it was the case for the end of chapter two on improper integral and exact differential and of the whole chapter three on multiple integrals and the beginning of chapter four on Fourier series. And other ones, they were galley proof of the second edition of the second volume, but they were annotated by the La Vallée Poussin and it could be only to annotate it, you know, in view of the third edition of volume two. And so that was a material which suggested that maybe we could do a reconstruction of the ghost volume two, three, and have in this way the best available material uh, of this course with respect to, to uh, Le Beg integral. And this re reconstruction has now been done and done jointly with Augusto Ponce. Uh, I had the chance that Augusto Ponce uh, was my successor at uh, the University Catholique de Louvain for teaching analysis and of course, you know him, he's Brazilian, and uh, with uh, him, we have reconstructed this ghost volume and the material is now ready for uh, publication. So I will tell you a few words about this material. So this is the, the first page. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the contents, so we, we re reconstruct the whole volume, but uh, it's only in chapter two, three, and four that we could take advantage from the uh, Gallet proof given by the great grandson. The other chapters uh, have not probably have not been really would not have been uh, modified. And so we just reproduced uh, as they were in the uh, second edition of volume two. So the only differences are in this, but as you see, this covers, we shall see this covers total ex uh, exact total differential. And this is a, uh, really an original contribution. It covers all the Lebesgue integration and it covers the uh, Fourier and trigonometrical series. So it's not really, it covers the most original part of this volume. Uh, for the integration of closed differential, uh, what is new in this uh, edition is the, the following uh, theorem, which gives a necessary and sufficient condition in order that uh, the integral of a uh, uh, differential forms PDX plus QDY depends only on its limits uh, when you integrate on a line inside the area. And the important point is that 
the theorem is proof for continuous and uh, differentiable function of x and y, not continuously differentiable. And so it gives a necessary and sufficient condition, this equality of the, of the derivative, oops, uh, uh, gives a necessary and sufficient condition in order then the integral is zero on any cycle, on any closed curve. And in fact, the, this theorem is inspired by the, the so-called cauchy goursa a theorem for complex functions. Remember that Goursa was the first to prove that when defining an holomorphic function of a complex variable, you did not need to ask that the uh, C derivative, the complex derivative, is continuous, as it was done before him, but that it would follow from uh, uh, the uh, Cauchy theorem, the yeah, the Cauchy theorem, Cauchy integral theorem, proved for only uh, complex differentiable functions. So what uh, De La Valle Boussa has done was to give a real version, a version for real uh, uh, first order differential forms. And of course, a special case of his result is the Cauchy goose. In fact, this is taken from a small paper that Val de la Vallée Poussin had published in 1914, and he had included the same year in his uh, uh, volume two, his third edition. And he also mentioned you can extend it to differential in R3. Uh, incidentally, for the ones who uh, uh, knows a little bit about some type of, of Henstock integral or Kurzweil Henstock integral, and I know there are people like this in Brazil. Uh, uh, the, the, the proof given by the Lavalle Poussin of his theorem uh, can be made much shorter if you use explicitly the, the Cousin's lemma. So, what he does, in fact, is to reprove the Cousin's lemma in this special situation. With respect to integration, uh, uh, in this uh, ghost edition, uh, De La Valle Poussin uh, complete his presentation of the indefinite multiple integral as a set function. Uh, and uh, in particular, he defined explicitly what is a, a major function in the setting of set function and a minor function. Uh, and uh, then uh, he essentially uh, characterizes the Lebesgue integral with those, those functions. And he will use this concept explicitly when he will study in uh, the same chapter the additive uh, set functions, which are not necessarily absolutely uh, continuous. So when, in fact, he will come back to his famous uh, representation theorem. And uh, to study those uh, uh, additive functions, which are not absolutely continuous, but which have bounded variation anyway, uh, then he will introduce and develop the concept of web derivative along dyadic square. So he took a web which is made of uh, uh, square uh, and uh, one obtained from the other one by dividing uh, all the squares by two. And uh, then uh, he obtained for uh, this uh, set functions with bounded variation, he obtained his famous decomposition theorems. And all this is uh, developed uh, for the first, for the first time in this uh, ghost volume uh, of uh, his court analysis. And of course, applications are, are given to the special case of function in R2, two which have bounded variation in the classical sense. So this is an important uh, 
thing contain this, and he applies those results to give really a, a new proof of the change of variable in an integral. It's a new and elegant proof, and uh, he has first a change of uh, variable for the measure, and then a change of variable for the uh, uh, integral, which uh, you recognize, of course, it's really what is now the, the familiar version, but it's published in a, it's proved in a very neat way. And uh, it is in 1915 in this paper of the transactions that uh, the Lavalle Poussin will really publish the, the, this result, but it existed in the ghost edition uh, one year uh, before. Another application is the Fubini type theorem uh, for, to reduce uh, uh, a double integral uh, into, into a single integral. And there also, this approach is original with respect to Lebesgue pioneering work and Fubini more uh, complete work on, on these problems. But uh, uh, De La Vallée Poussin uh, obtains a very neat way. And even some, uh, uh, you know, first version of what we will be called Tonelli theorem for a non-negative function. So if in this formula, one of the three terms exist, the two other do too, and uh, they are the equal. So that's the reduction theorem. And there are also other more minor modification that I will not go into, into details. Okay. So what makes this third edition unique is that uh, this uh, is, of course, the first publication of a new material on multiple integrals. So it gives, if you know, a, a missing link in the development of the ideas of the Lavalle Poussin with respect to integration theory. Uh, uh, this missing link between his second edition of the Cours d'Analyse and the monograph uh, of Paris. And uh, uh, there is a partial missing link, which is the uh, paper uh, in the transaction of 1915. But uh, this paper has already, contains already uh, modifications with respect to the ghost edition of the Cours d'Analyse. And uh, uh, also, uh, it does not reproduce everything which is in the code analyse. So now, if you take the uh, the third edition uh, of volume three and uh, uh, reconstruct it, uh, third edition of volume two, you get the mathematically best edition of the Cours d'Analyse Infinitesimal. And it is to insist that this Lebesgue integral, which is uh, so present in those uh, two first two editions of the Lavalle Poussin, will never be contained in any edition of Jordan's Cours d'Analyse, of Goursa Cours d'Analyse. And you can find it uh, only in 1942 in a posthumous edition of Picard treated analysis, but it's only a sketch for function of one variable. And uh, I think this explains the special role that the Lavalle Poussin books played among the famous major treaties of analysis in French language and why it was so successful uh, internationally. I traveled a lot in my life and uh, in almost every country that I visit, when I say that I was from the University of Louvain, people immediately mentioned to me uh, that they had learned analysis in the book of the Lavalle Plus Analysis and Integration. Okay, but nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect, this is well known. 
and this beautiful court d'analyse has presented a wrong proof of the implicit function theorem during 10 editions, between the, the third edition of volume one to the 12th edition of volume one. Uh, and this is a wrong proof of this version of the implicit function theorem. You have uh, n function of m plus n variable. At some point, the, uh, all the functions vanish. They are differentiable at this point and such that the Jacobian is non-zero at this point. Then there exists at least one system of functions, you know, which reduce to the, the constant there at the point uh, m and verify identically the uh, uh, implicit equations near this point. Uh, this is uh, attributed by uh, de la vallée poussin to Young. So in the statement, there is there are two mistakes in the statement. First, Young should be written with a y. This is a minor mistake. And second, this is not the theorem that you can find in Young. It is a De La Vallée Poussin uh, version. And where is the problem with respect to the classical implicit function theorem? Is that the differentiability is only assumed at the point uh, here, M. And remember classically, this differentiability is assumed in a neighborhood of uh, the point and it is continuous differentiability. So the statement is, let's say, too optimistic. And the proof which is given by uh, induction on uh, n, on the dimension, you know, uh, of course it is true for n equal one, but the induction step from n to n plus 1 doesn't work. However, I say it's a wrong proof, it's not a wrong statement. The statement is true. This statement is really a true statement, but as I say, it's not Young's one. And uh, you can only prove, as far as I know, uh, using topological degree argument. So with this, with, top, with Brouwer degree, you can prove this theorem. So the statement is true, but uh, De La Vallée Poussin's proof is too optimistic because that would be give also, uh, let's say, an induction process to construct the degree, which will be really wonderful too. But until now, it has not been done. So this proof has apparently been teach at the University of Louvain because it was uh, it remains when it was teached by its successor. It has been teached at least 44 years and maybe more. So uh, I stop here and I stop with a little uh, commercial. I spoke at some moment of the collected work of the La Vallée Poussin, which are not now completely published in four volumes, four volumes with the help of Augusto Pons also. And so uh, if you now want to know more about what De La Vallée Poussin has done outside of his famous cours d'analyse, then uh, you can consult those collected work. Thank you for your kind attention. OK, Professor Mawan, thank you for your wonderful lecture. Uh, you know, we we have already some questions and many uh, congratulations uh, in the chat of the YouTube. So a lot of people. Uh, okay, let's begin with a question from Professor Luis Miranda, our one of the chair of the analysis section of the workshop. He says. Dear Professor Mawan, thanks a lot for your great lecture. Could you please comment on the La Vallée Poussin lemma for uniform integrability? I mean, on historical point of view. Thank you. 
Uh, can, can you be a little more precise which uniform integrability? Mm, Professor Luis Miranda. Well, uh, me, meanwhile, uh, we have still a lot of people uh, saying thanks. Uh, okay, Professor uh, Luis Miranda, he says yes, so he reformulating <laughs> his question. <laughs> Just so <laughs> some instance. It looks like uh, Professor uh, De La Valle, uh, he wrote about Lebesgue integral much more than the, 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 the Lebesgue on his own. <laughs> yeah, so, but, well, they, there was maybe some similarity in the career that, well, with respect to the integral, is that uh, they stopped consider working on the integral, uh, roughly speaking, uh, after the First World War, you know, uh, uh, okay. because the, the last paper of uh, the, the La Vallée Poussin on integration is just at the first Congress of Mathematicians in Strasbourg in 1910, uh, 20, and it was a survey paper, and also after the First World War, uh, Lebesgue uh, did not write really any paper on, on Lebesgue integral. Uh, they were in very good relations together, of course. Uh, they, they met uh, a long time when De La Vallée Poussin was in Paris. And when uh, uh, the University of Louvain celebrated the 25 years of professorship of the, the La Vallée Poussin, there was a big celebration and Lebesgue made the main lecture, the main talk uh, and about the, the La Vallée Poussin. But uh, yes, they, they, they essentially maybe wrote about the same, the same amount. Of, of the <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, Luis Miranda, he, he, he formulated the question I will put on screen. Mm, the criterion where you consider a monotonous function in order to obtain, yeah. In order to, but I, ah, this is this, yeah, this is, this is a result which is, in general, attributed to 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 the La Vallée Poussin, uh, but uh, it's con contained, I think, in his book of Paris of uh, Integral de Lebesgue. From uh, no, I'm, I'm not sure. No, 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 no. This theorem, in fact, is not contained in the in the paper on integration of the La Vallée Poussin. It is contained in. Uh, his paper on potential theory. I could not tell you which one by memory like this, but when I said, of course, that the La Vallée Poussin stopped working on integration theory after 1912, uh, it is a partial truth only because he applied, he was really among the pioneers to apply measure and integration theory to potential theory. And that was done in the year 1930, essentially, in all the decade 1930. And it is at this occasion that uh, he uh, uh, introduced the, the theorem that Professor Miranda uh, is mentioning. And I think, yeah, which is regularly referred as, as the La Vallée Poussin Lemma. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, there is one last question uh, from Professor uh, Yuri Sobral, professor of the Department of Mathematics in Brasilia. Uh, he has a curiosity. Was the course the analysis in its more advanced format talk for no mathematicians studies for a long time? Is it still the case in UCL? <laughs> okay, yes. In fact, the, when I was appointed in University of Louvain in 1970, and it was in the chair, uh, which was the chair of analysis occupied by the, the Lavalle Poussin before. So, in this respect, I am a, a great grandson. Uh, then the course the, of the first two years was still the same for the engineers, mathematics, and physics. So, I teach it for several years to all those students, but of course, not with Lebeg integral, so the, uh, it was still, uh, it was essentially an advanced calculus course. But then uh, after maybe five or six years, the engineers wanted to have a separate uh, course of analysis. I hope it was not my fault. Uh, and uh, uh, then uh, it was finally decided to split the course, uh, one for engineers and one for students in mathematics and for students in physics. And so I kept the course for mathematics and physics there. And so from 1976 or 7, uh, the, the course were separated. And then I reintroduced uh, Lebeg integral in, in this course. So, but by using the approach of Kurzweil and Stock. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I believe our, we are out of time now. So uh, I would like to thank you again, Professor Jean Mawin, uh, for accepting uh, our invitation and for delivering uh, this nice talk to, to all of us. I would like to thank also the audience, the questions, the, the, the greetings word, that, uh, that, that was very, very good, a, a great uh, section, a, a great uh, plenary talk. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you too. So, it was a pleasure and all the best okay. for the See you workshop. all um, in, in our next time. Okay? Be well. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.